More than 3 million Ukrainian refugees have fled their homes to find a new life in Poland. Many of them have arrived with medical issues that require immediate attention. 2822 Eyewitness News reporter Mark Hiller introduces us to a local physician who's helped meet those needs. So this is Sasha. He is a Ukrainian refugee himself. Pointing out one of the first Ukrainian refugees he met while volunteering one April week in Poland, Dr. Chetan Yeroljopot saw in that man's face the answer to a question he pondered from afar. Why are we, you know, as physicians, why do, why do we want to help people? And then you have this humanitarian crisis happening. Dr. Roljopo took a week of vacation from his work at the Wright Center for Community Health, then donated his time and skills in Poland at the border with Ukraine. He joined a diverse group of physicians volunteering with the Israeli French based organization Savatur Sans Frontiers, which means rescuers without borders. They tended to the injured and the ill. Families that were separated from other family members, um, women, children, um, men, um, old as you know, 80s or even as young as you know, three or four crossing over. He says he spent long hours personally tending to dozens of refugees a day. If you're making this journey halfway around the world to help these people, you're not going to go back to your hotel and you know, just stay in luxury. One refugee he treated stands out as a symbol of resiliency, an 86-year-old woman named Nina. She had traveled uh, two days, you know, in her condition at her age through the cold, um, even a night when she finally crossed over and then collapsed, and it was just from exhaustion and dehydration. Even though Dr. Roljopot's work kept him in Poland, he did cross the border briefly into Ukraine to help someone in need. Dr. Roljopot says besides providing medical aid, he tried to provide each refugee he treated something else, hope. Let them know that you know there's a better tomorrow, that this will hopefully come to an end and their lives can be restored one day. In Scranton, Mark Hiller, 2822 Eyewitness News. What an incredible man. Dr. Roljal Polt says that his experience treating refugees has only reinforced his desire to provide medical aid to people near and far. He also says that he's inspired another doctor that he knows to volunteer to help the refugees as well.